One day, humans imagined they could domesticate animals. It was an extravagant and a totally unachievable idea. But it worked. After becoming involved in the revolutionary movement, Nicolas Appel devised a technique for the industrial preservation of food. At that time, food used to be preserved by drying, smoking, salting or oil immersion. Its nutritional qualities and taste were thus considerably altered. Appel came up with the idea of enclosing foodstuffs in hermetically sealed containers, which were then immersed in boiling water. This was revolutionary and utopian, but it worked. In Brittany, farmers wanted to finally control and export their production, to open up their region and provide it with new avenues for the future. But to do this, they needed to set up a farmers' union and a centralised market. They needed to build a deep water port at Roscoff and to open ferry boat lines to Great Britain. Finally, they needed to develop road transportation infrastructure to implement a modern telecommunication network and to train engineers on site. It was such a visionary and unattainable idea, but it worked. The large-scale, systematic use of chemicals, synthetic drugs and pesticides for crops and animal farms is harmful to animals, nature and people. In Brain, Olmix has chosen the natural alternative. Olmix conceives a project involving the joint use of seaweeds and clay. This is a natural, healthy and sustainable means to prevent and address the sanitary challenges that confront farmers and stock breeders all over the world. Is this an unrealistic idea at first sight? Maybe, but it works. These products are now exported worldwide. In 2050, we feed 9 billion people. We perfectly managed to do it, while preserving the earth, the sea and the air, and respecting wildlife. We do this for our balance and well-being, and of course, for that of our children and for their future. How do we do this? It's easy. Here's the solution. In 2013, an industry which changed it all took off, the algae industry. Other partners rapidly and spontaneously joined, used and enriched this new dynamic. It is this pooling of scientific, technical and industrial expertise, which was already present in Brittany, based on algae farming and processing, that currently generates this new economy around the world. Alga culture is an everyday reality whether practiced in onshore farms or along the 2,730 kilometers of Breton coastline, whose water renewal ensures the exceptional quality of the algae. But also and above all, it is practiced in what constitutes today the largest and most fertile field on the planet, the sea. The development of offshore wind farms has effectively allowed harmonizing power production, aquaculture and this indispensable alga culture. Seaweeds constitute an inexhaustible richness which, for a long time now, has made up for the depletion of other basic resources. We thus produce in a sustainable and environmentally friendly manner balances that are fundamental to our lives, as well as key resources for our food and health needs. It's this idea, this intelligent industry, this virtuous circle which were created long ago that revolutionized things. Moreover, this industry in itself is a source of other crucial benefits for man. Work, trade, development, economy, and a sense of balance when faced with the future.
The industry players benefit from this wealth and continually adapt it to ever-changing needs in the fields of animal nutrition and health, fertilization and plant health, and, logically and consistently, human food, health and well-being. What we've done so far and continue to do here and now in Brittany, we do here and now for the entire world, starting from mere algae. This was the idea, and it worked. 2050 is tomorrow. Tomorrow starts now.